Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So this build is a build challenge that James Turner actually created and it's like the three tile tall tiny home I guess challenge. Even though this build didn't actually turn out to be a tiny home, he built this, he built these two like townhouse shells and left this little three tile wide alleyway in between. And that's where you're supposed to build a house. So you're supposed to build like a three or four story tiny house in that like middle section. So you, you don't have to have it like function as a tiny house. It doesn't need to be a tiny house. I did try and make it a tiny house. I tried to make it under 100 tiles, but the actual livable space of this lot, like of this house, is I think 90, 96 tiles, I think. And that's including the balcony on the fourth floor. But because I have that flat roof at the top of the build and these two like decorative balconies. So there's one decorative balcony at the front and one at the back that I just put some hedges in. Because I have those two, the build is technically I think 111 tiles. So it doesn't really function as a tiny home. But if you just went ahead and deleted those two balconies and maybe messed around with the roof a little bit then you could easily have this be under 100 tiles. I just, I didn't really care about those like two perks that you get if you have a tiny house and I just, I like the way the balconies looked so I decided to keep it. But yeah, so I saw Miss Griffey actually do this, I believe it was yesterday. Yeah, I believe it was her video yesterday or maybe the day before that. I can't exactly remember, my days are all like blurring together a little bit. But yeah, I, I saw Miss Griffey do this and I actually didn't know about this challenge before I saw her do it. So I will have her video linked down below. And then also I'll have James's video linked down below obviously as well. If you guys want to, you know, maybe just watch his videos, see what he did and everything like that. So yeah, basically this build, like this, the shells of this like lot are up on the gallery under his like gallery ID. Which I believe is just the sim supply. I think that's still his gallery ID. But yeah, you can download those and I'll obviously he explains all of it in like his videos. So yeah, if you guys want to download the shells and like try out this challenge because this was a bit of a... Uh, this wasn't the easiest challenge, honestly. I mean, I messed around. You guys will see me mess around with the layout quite a bit. And yeah, it's just because it's... I don't really have a problem with like the four story bit. The four story bit I can work with. But the fact that it's only three tiles and we don't have like spiral staircases or ladders or anything like that is really annoying. Trying to fit in all of the staircases was a, a, a pain in the butt to like <laughs> put it nicely. But yeah, we end up having the like kitchen on the first floor. So right as you walk in, we have like a galley kitchen type thing. And then on the second floor, we have a tiny little dining space and a living room. On the th third floor, there's a really big bathroom. This one that you guys will see me work on. Yeah, so there's a really big bathroom and a desk area and some laundry. And then on the fourth floor, that's like the master bedroom. It's the only bedroom. So yeah, and it's not even like a completely closed off room. It's kind of like a loft bedroom. So you walk straight up into it. And then on the fourth floor, we also have a like balcony bit where I put a chair and a yoga mat and stuff like that. So yeah, that's basically the house. I know Miss Griffey turned this into a like student housing lot. So for I think her build was for like four different students. So yeah, in my build, you can only fit two sims, unfortunately. But I just decided that I had an idea for what I wanted the build to be. And that definitely wasn't for it to be a family home so yeah I thought it would be for maybe a like freelance photographer or something I was definitely thinking maybe a freelance photographer so I do end up right at the end of the video I end up putting in a bunch of cameras in the bedroom and a tripod and everything like that so yeah I was thinking a freelance photographer like one of the sims could be a freelance photographer if you wanted a couple to live here I was thinking one of them might be a freelance photographer and the other one might be maybe in like the business career or something 
or other maybe they're both freelancers maybe one of them is a photographer the other one might be a writer or something or you know whatever sims you want to have live here it's totally up to you guys but that's just kind of like the story that i had in my head but yeah we've moved on to working on the kitchen like you guys can see i did go for a very modern <laughs> color scheme i used quite a few of the moschino items actually like the furniture items so i went up i ended up going for this like red white and black theme for the whole like build just because it really fitted with the whole like fashion photographer kind of idea that i had in my head <laughs> so yeah i wanted to use a bunch of the moschino items so yeah we end up using the moschino couches i think i use obviously the like tripod and stuff and I think that might be the only Moschino items that I used. I honestly can't remember. I built this last night and I already can't remember what I did. But anyway, that doesn't really matter, <laughs> does it? But yeah, my voice is going really weird right now. I don't know what's up with it, but if I sound like I've swallowed a frog or something, that would be why. But I'm not going to re-record this voiceover, so you guys will just have to deal with me sounding like I've swallowed a frog. Which is not all that fun, but it's just it's, it's just what we're dealing with right now, honestly. But yeah, you guys will also see that the bed on the like the, the like one bedroom, the bed, actually ends up clipping through the wall quite a bit. So if you're like in the other shell, like either of the shells, you can kind of see the bed clipping through the wall. And I only did that. I really hate it when stuff like that happens when things clip through walls. But I wanted to have a double bed in the bedroom. And that was the only way I could get it to work. That was the only way I could get the sim to actually walk around the foot of the bed. So even if I don't if I didn't have it clipping, then the sims would only be able to access one side of the bed and not the other one. And I know that for some people the whole like having sims scoot over if they're in bed and having them scoot over to the other side for some people that works but whenever i've actually like like tried to get it to work it didn't but then recently in my current household my sim just did it randomly for no reason they could actually access the other side of the bed just fine but yeah they did it randomly in my current household recently and i was like oh so this actually works but then when I tried to recreate it in a build later on, it didn't work. So apparently it either just decides when it wants to work and when it doesn't, or it just straight up doesn't work. So I really didn't want to rely on that. So yeah, that's why the bed ends up clipping through the wall a little bit. I hope you guys don't mind, but the shelves on either side, they're completely empty. They're all, they aren't actually even rooms. They, they're not closed off or anything, so they... Like, don't add to the tile count of the lot if you wanted this to be a tiny house. But yeah, so they're just empty shells. And if you guys did want to download this and actually turn those, like, two townhouses on either side into real builds, then you could just either delete the bed if you don't want to use the bed, or you could, you know, move it or mess around with it or whatever you want to do with it. But yeah, that's just the way I had to do it. So yeah, you will see my sim self up here right now and... That's because I kind of play tested it as I went. So I tried to see how far out I could pull the bed without it clipping and still working. And yeah, I mean, it still looks like a very modern bed. So yeah, there's that. And everything in this house does work. I play tested all of it. Your sims can get everywhere that they need to go. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you did, give the video a like. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, this build is up on the gallery if you guys want to download it. It's up on the gallery if you search for hashtag ChrissyYT or you can just go to my gallery ID which is ChrissyYT and I always have those like listed in the description down below. And I'll also have a direct download link to the online gallery website in the description as well. If you guys find it easier to download from the website instead of going to the gallery in game. But yeah, like I said, I really like the way this turned out. So I hope you guys liked it as well. And definitely go and check out Miss Griffey's video down below that I'll have linked. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having an absolutely amazing Sunday. And 
that your week has ended great and that the next like the coming week is a great week for you guys and i will talk to you on my very next video bye guys